Let's talk about wealth. Welcome back to the series of Conquering Your 20s. Now this is part two. If you haven't watched part one, go watch it. I will link it in the description box below or over here. If you didn't already know, I'm making a series of how to conquer your 20s. The playlist will be linked in the description box below. Now this part is gonna be about how to conquer your 20s but wealth edition. How to build wealth in your 20s. So you know what? Let's talk about it. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are thinking just like I once thought. We're just 20. We don't have to worry about finances just yet. You're wrong. You have to. If you want a successful future, if you want to be financially free by the age of 30, 40, 50, 60, you need to work hard in your 20s. You need to build wealth in your 20s, especially in the modern day world like 2023. Come on, there are so many freaking opportunities to build wealth. Building wealth in your 20s is one of the easiest things ever because you have all the time and freedom to do it. Our 20s is one of the easiest phases in our lives where we have so much room for growth and building wealth. So don't just sit there and do nothing. Don't waste your 20s. Build wealth at a young age so that you can be independent and financially free when you are 30, 40, 50 and secure your future because why the fuck not? Now I understand a lot of us in our 20s struggle with financial issues such as student loans or limited income for most of us at least. But the decisions that we make in our 20s can significantly significantly impact our futures. That is why I'm making this video so that you can build wealth. So I'm gonna help you do that. I'm gonna help all of you guys in your 20s to build wealth. In your 20s to ensure something good, a financial free life in the future, to secure your future. So let's get into it. Number one. Now I understand when you're young, you do not want to be restricted with money or buy money. And I'm not asking you not to use your own money for yourself, but what I'm asking you is to use your money wisely. Number one, prioritize budgeting and saving. And that is where prioritizing budgeting and saving comes in. One of the most fundamental steps towards building wealth is to budget and save. That means tracking whatever comes in, tracking whatever comes out, income and expenses, tracking every single penny. You know exactly where your money goes. You can figure out where the unnecessary spendings are and reduce them. Budgeting is something that really helped me. Budgeting literally saved my financial life and I know that with the bottom of my heart because before I started budgeting, I had no idea where my money was going. I had no idea where my money was coming in from because I had different sources of income and I was spending my money like crazy because that's the first time in my life I had to handle money on my own. And trust me, that feeling of having money in your hands as an adult is crazy because we start spending on things that we were never allowed to spend on when we were kids. You know, when we were growing up with our parents, they're always very strict with money. But as soon as we get that financial freedom to spend whatever we want on that is disastrous so before i started budgeting i used to spend around five thousand dollars i was wasting maybe five hundred to six hundred dollars or more just on uber and i was wasting around a thousand dollars just on takeaway food and then i had so many unnecessary expenses and ever since i started budgeting i only spent two thousand dollars a month can you believe that that is with rent and everything my needs and necessities and everything else I'm literally saving $3,000 every single month now, even though I'm making much more than I used to make before. My budget is still the same. And also do not forget to allocate a percentage of your income into your savings. Having a saving account at a very young age is one of the best things you could do for yourself. Let me explain why. Now I call this the emergency fund. Having a savings is so important because you never know what's gonna happen in your life and no matter what happens, you are confident enough to know that I still have money. I don't care what it is, I don't care how many backups you got, I don't care if your parents are gonna help you when you fall down, you need to have a savings account. I call my savings account an emergency fund. So. Let me tell you a little story. So when I was saving up, I saved up shit tons of money, like maybe $20,000 or something like that. I saved up so much that when the bank blocked my card, I had nothing. I couldn't access any of the money that was coming in after it got blocked. I, my account was blocked for like three months. So I had none of my incomes, none of the money that I was earning coming into my account. All I had was my emergency fund and that is what saved me. That money literally put food on my table. That money, my emergency fund, is what helped me pay my hospital bills when I got sick. That is why I don't care how much you make, I don't care what you think is gonna happen in your life, you need to have an emergency fund that you will not touch for unnecessary purposes. Buying a new Chanel bag last minute 
and using your emergency fund is not an excuse. Don't do that. An emergency fund is for life and death situations only. Ideally, saving up to like 20% of your income will gradually cultivate into a habit of saving for the future. Even a small contribution consistently made can accumulate into a substantial nest egg. Y'all need to learn about compound interest. So get started on that savings account, your emergency fund. Even $10 is fine. After this video, I want you to get a notepad and a pen and write down all of the very necessary expenses like rent, utilities, bills, and then your wants like clothes, whatever. And then whatever remaining, you're gonna put that into your savings account. Number two, investing in yourself. Like I said, 20s are your freedom phase where you will be able to try new things and you will fail and it'll be okay. It is a time of your life where you have so many freaking opportunities and all the freedom and time to explore them. So you need to start investing in your skills and education because that can yield a significant returns in terms of career growth and income potential. Now, if your career depends on a university degree, I want you to invest your money on a university degree or additional certifications that will help you with your career and lead to higher paying positions. But do not forget to invest in your skills and expanding your knowledge in the particular field that you want to be in, like going to workshops, going to seminars, buying online courses that will help you, things that could increase marketability and earning potential. Consistently upskilling yourself can safeguard against economic uncertainties and promote continuous personal and professional development. Like for example, you want to start a YouTube career, right? Either you learn from the free resources that you already have, or you find a good online YouTube guru, spend a little bit of money, learn all of the important things, and then you get started working on your YouTube career. Because there are so many freaking courses out there that literally spoon feed you. I don't care what it is, affiliate marketing, digital marketing, selling businesses so many freaking ideas so many freaking opportunities where you can build money and there are so many freaking ways to learn them online for free or if you want mentorship there are so many freaking courses for cheap that people are selling nowadays that you can literally buy those information are literally spoon fed to you you can change your life just by investing in yourself now i know some of you guys like buying shoes clothes takeaways and stuff like that instead of wasting your money on useless shit and temporary pleasures, why don't you take that money and invest in yourself in making your skills even better? Like if you wanna be a businesswoman or a businessman, gather as much as knowledge as you can from people who are successful or from seminars or from mentoring or etc. Or of course, like I said, you can invest yourself and buy a course that'll help you and guide you throughout your journey. Number three, make informed investment decisions. Now, while saving is crucial, investing wisely can accelerate wealth accumulation. Now, diversifying investments across various assets like classes, stocks, bonds, and real estate can mitigate risks, but it can also increase your potential returns. Now, considering the power of compounding, alone it is an advantage to start learning how to invest early just take advantage of the long-term market growth now if you have no idea how investing works there's google there's youtube there's twitter there's instagram there's so many free resources out there that you could figure this out on your own but if you can i suggest you to spend at least one hour every single day learning about investing before you get started working on it now investing is something that a lot of young people have started doing and they have been successful in just less than a year if they can do it so can you it all depends on how much you want it from the bottom of your heart i mean investing has become such a huge thing that people are literally digging for information on how to invest correctly and so many people are seeing great results from it so if you don't know how to invest free resources out there figure it out or buy a course that literally spoon feeds you the information i mean rich people have been keeping this a secret from us for a long time but now that the secret is out Everyone is taking advantage of investing and they are getting richer day by day. So educate yourself about different investment options, seek professional advice or mentorship. Number four, hobbies that make you money. Now I've always said this in my previous videos as well, you need to have three kinds of hobbies. One to keep you fit, another one to make you money. Now a hobby to keep you creative is something like painting or dancing, or that could be even a hobby to keep you fit. But a hobby that makes you money, it could be selling your paintings 
or stitching whatever it is like my hobby that makes me money is basically my youtube channel so find a hobby that makes money something that you love doing and you don't feel like it's a job but you're still earning money from it now the fifth one is last but not least very freaking important minimize and manage debt try as hard as possible in your 20s not to fall into debt a lot of people have started falling into debt at a very young age and they keep paying it off until the age of 40. you don't want to be that person you want financial freedom you don't want to go there where you are struggling to pay your monthly debt no we don't want that think of debt as a financial prison you don't want to go there strong loans or credit cards can significantly hinder wealth accumulation so minimizing debt should be a top in your financial priority list especially if you're in your 20s and if you do have a credit card please use it wisely and if you i mean if you want financial stability these are basically all the things that you have to do so that was it Building wealth in our 20s requires a lot of patience and discipline. So prioritize budgeting, saving, investing in yourself, investing in, in general, and minimizing debt. These are the key strategies to building wealth in your 20s. People who start young and remain committed to these financial habits will reap substantial benefits from it in the form of increased financial security and freedom. So by following these strategies, you could pave the way to your financial freedom and security and unlock the potential to achieve your best and successful future so that was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to watch my other conquer your 20s videos i will link everything in the description box below and yeah that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye